Autonomous drone operations have always sounded like the future. Until now. With DJI's brand new Dock 3 and the next generation Matrice 4D series, we are now witnessing a complete shift in how drones are deployed, controlled and managed in the real world in order to save precious time, facilitate operations and most importantly, save lives. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited to talk about the DJI Dock 3 and the Matrice 4 TD. Special thanks to Copter BG, DJI's official distributor in Bulgaria, which let me check out the Dock 3 together with the Matrice 4 TD. Now, let's begin with the Dock 3 and let you know what exactly that is. Well, essentially it's a fully automated base station for drones. It's a rugged, weatherproof charging hub designed to sit anywhere from city rooftops to the back of a pickup truck and it's capable of housing, charging and deploying a drone entirely on its own. Rated for tough environments, the Dock 3 can operate in a wide range of temperatures from minus 30 degrees Celsius to plus 50 degrees Celsius and it's built to resist dust, rain and snow with an IP56 rating. The internal climate control system keeps the drone's batteries and electronics at optimal temperatures at all times and additionally the Dock 3's slanted design allows water to easily run off preventing ice buildup on its surface. For what you'd normally expect from such a powerful station, it's surprisingly compact so it can be placed in the bed of a pickup truck for maximum deployment flexibility and responding to emergency needs. The Dock 3 constantly monitors the health of both itself and the drone, battery status, motor performance, firmware and it can flag potential issues before they become problems. Opening the hatch, spinning up the props and launching into the sky. The entire process is automated and it takes around 10 seconds for the drone to take off and around just a minute to reach 100 meters of altitude. If you want to get better image transmission in an offline environment for example, there are two methods of how you can do that. The first way is by using a feature called Airborne Relay, which uses one Matrice drone acting as a bridge between the second drone, basically doubling its range. The second way involves using the DJI DRTK3, an antenna which you can place on either higher ground or just further away. This feature is perfect if you're operating in mountainous regions or dense urban environments where there's a lot of signal interference. Now the Dock 3 isn't just tied to one drone, it works with the Matrice 4D and the Matrice 4TD. This new series builds on the Matrice 30's success but pushes it even further with enhanced payload options, IP55 rating, 12 meters per second wind speed resistance, low noise propellers, longer flight times and next level AI assisted operations. The flight time can now stretch up to 50 minutes depending on the payload, giving operators more time in the air per mission. The flight performance is robust with improved wind resistance and precise positioning which is crucial when the drone has to land autonomously in the dock. Now for my testing I've been flying the Matrice 4 TD, a model designed with versatility in mind. The TD variant includes a multi-sensor camera system, a high resolution visual camera, a telephoto lens for long range inspections and of course a high performance thermal camera. The drone itself works very similarly to the Matrice 40, a drone which I've already reviewed on my channel and I'll link the video below and also put a card in the upper right corner if you want to check it out. However, one of the main differences between the two is the fact that this one is IP55 rated, meaning it's waterproof and can be flown even in severe weather conditions. You can see the little slots in the body of the drone that are used for the water to run off from. In addition, since the drone is made to be used with the Dock 3 and for keeping all the internals covered to protect them from water, this drone is not foldable. Now there are two ways to operate the drone, either via the DJI RC Plus 2 Enterprise Remote Controller or through the Dock 3 via DJI Flight Hub 2, a software giving you full control over setting up missions, executing flight paths or flying manually with your mouse and keyboard and using all of the drone's intelligent features. Speaking of intelligent features, there are a lot of them that you can take advantage on with the Matrice 4D series such as detecting and tracking vehicles and vessels, patrolling a designated area and receiving notifications in case of an accident, forest fire detection and a lot more. Another very powerful intelligent feature that stands out is the rangefinder, especially when combined with the zoom capabilities of the drone. You can easily find the exact range of a specific point on the screen, giving you precise information about its distance from the drone in real time. And that could be not only a static point in the area, but also a moving object like a vehicle for example, which is especially important in public safety scenarios. 
Inspecting a building or a construction site with a drone like this obviously is not an issue at all. Especially with such a high amount of zoom available, you can clearly see details even from a couple of hundred meters away. Even without physically reaching the area with the drone itself, you can clearly zoom in and inspect a whole bunch of different areas or objects that are your point of interest. Now let's talk thermal, because this is one of the most impressive aspects of the Matrice 4 TD. It's equipped with a radiometric thermal sensor capable of detecting precise temperature differences. This makes it ideal for search and rescue, power line and solar panel inspections, firefighting as well as wildlife monitoring. I think the resolution you're getting on the Matrice 4 TD's thermal camera is sharp enough to distinguish subtle heat variations and with multiple color palettes available, operators can adapt the view to match their mission. Paired with AI-assisted subject recognition, the drone can even help automatically spot humans or vehicles in a large search area. But here is the interface of DJI Flight Hub 2. This is a software that allows you to take full control over the drone and plan missions even before taking off with the drone. But you can also take full control over the drone and fly it with your mouse and keyboard. So that's a really interesting experience being able to have full control over the drone while you're not physically next to it, it's quite different and uh, it's my first time trying it out. Now here we have the pre-flight check while taking off from the Dock 3 with the Matrice 4 TD and you have a camera showing you the surroundings, showing you how the actual Dock 3 opens up so you can see the drone uh, sitting inside and then you can see how the drone takes off from it, showcasing you the safe environment around it and then of course the dock closes when the drone is already in the air. You can see all the telemetry, all the data necessary, the battery level, everything that you will ever need while flying from your computer. From here of course you have full access to all the intelligent flight modes, all the different zoom capabilities of the different cameras so you can use for example the rangefinder, you can uh, detect people or uh, cars or vessels, you can start tracking them, you can do everything you can do with the remote controller but within this software uh, that is kind of more in depth and gives you a little bit more uh, data that you can observe while flying. Here's a look at the virtual cockpit from DJI Flight Hub 2 where you can see how everything looks like when the Matrice 4 TD is automatically landing in the Dock 3. You have so much telemetry and information about the current conditions such as the wind speed, the altitude, the exact positioning of the drone, the battery level, the satellites, the latency, the camera settings. You can see everything at a glance and you can of course take control and manually fly the drone if needed with the keys of the keyboard. And there is a camera on the dock itself showcasing how everything is looking like from the ground. You can see the downward positioning sensor of the drone and also the camera of the drone itself. So you have multiple different perspectives showcasing everything that's going on with the drone and around it. So in case there are any problems, you'll probably see them. Now a very interesting use case for the Matrice 4TD is using its thermal camera to detect anomalies or problems with solar panels and as you can see within this scenario we have so many different buildings with solar panels and I was told that one of them has malfunctioned and it's really 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 easy to detect which one of them is not working properly as you can see with this white spot on one of them it clearly shows that it's not working properly compared to the rest of them. So by using the thermal camera you're able to spot a malfunctioned solar panel within seconds and act accordingly to get it fixed as soon as possible and not lose resources and time. Of course, to make it all easier, you have a lot of different thermal camera palettes that will change the colors on the thermal camera to make it easier for you to spot what you're looking for. And also while you're doing that, you can also take advantage of the feature that allows you to see the current temperature of a specific element on the screen. So in this case, while checking the solar panels, we can clearly see that one of them has a different surface temperature compared to the rest of them. And that's also a good indication that something is going wrong. Of course, we also have zoom that allows us to quickly 
punch in in a certain area so we can take a quick look at it and this statue for example uh, i was told it's about six kilometers away and even though it gets a little bit blurry by the end of the zoom range you can still see it so well and keep in mind that is six kilometers away that is a game changer when you are far away and you want to quickly focus on a certain element around you without losing so much quality and still having a very usable image after that. Another way to use the DJI Flight Hub 2 is to set up a custom flight route. With this feature, you can automate a flight path that the drone can repeatedly follow while also setting up custom camera parameters and features. For example, you can make it always focus on a specific object, take a picture, then go to the next waypoint and start recording a video, for example. By doing this, you can easily automate a patrol mission where the drone will fly around your selected waypoints and will notify you if it detects any anomalies. So how can we apply this tech in real-world situations? The Dog 3 and the Matrice 4D combo unlocks truly autonomous aerial operations. Now imagine having a drone stationed on a remote pipeline ready to inspect after an alert, or a fleet of docks placed across the city instantly responding to emergency calls, or patrolling the city at night. We're talking about public safety, infrastructure inspection, environmental monitoring, security and surveillance, and so much more. After using the Matrice 4 TD with the Dock 3, one thing is clear. This isn't just a piece of hardware, it's a system designed to save time, reduce human risk, and provide instant access to the sky when it's needed the most, all autonomously. The automation works flawlessly, the build quality is premium, and the data you can collect with the onboard sensors is incredibly valuable. With the Dock 3 and the Matrice 4D series, DJI is definitely redefining what's possible with drones. Whether it's the thermal powerhouse of the 4TD or other specialized payloads in the lineup, the ability to have a drone ready to launch anytime, anywhere is a game changer. And there you guys have it. This is the DJI Dock 3 together with the Matrice 4TD. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you already know what to do. Drop a like, subscribe for more videos like this one. Never stop flying. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.